Hello, and this is my first application-based tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you a project specification, and then we're going to start. Uh, we're going to research a goal for for the first uh, video, and then I'm going to give you the opportunity to complete it yourself, because I think that uh, you have enough knowledge now to complete at least the first goal, and. Then I'm going to so show you the solution which I came up with. Okay, so this is the program we're, we're going to be making. We're going to be creating a resume builder program. Basically, I've been having trouble getting a job and I want to cr create an application which uh, stores skills and abilities into a list. Basically, a master list. It's basically a fancy word document which I can interact interact with uh, using my own little GUI and shit. It's kind of fun, time killer, and keep my skills sharp. So the features include the ability to input skills and abilities into a list, read these skills and abilities from a file. So I want to be able to input things and extract them. So the first step, yep, create a program to help build an effective resume. Okay, this, this is the description. So I'm gonna, just going to read this out to you. The program should be built in the C programming language, and you should be capable of storing multiple lists of information. The lists should include known programming languages, past job, app past jobs, applications you were experienced with, classes you took at college, etc., etc. So basically anything you want. You don't have to put these ne these specific lists in there, but I expect it to be able to, uh, you to be able to add groups and remove groups at will. This program should respond to various commands that the user may input. These commands will be delimited by some special character. In this, uh, this I created, I used the uh, slash as the delimiter. So, I might expand on this later and just allow you to input multiple commands at once, and this delimiter will allow your program to uh, identify when the command is starting. So, this is the first command. Uh, add group and then you put the group name. We'll add a new list to the file. Remove group. Group name. We'll remove group from the file. Slash select group name. We'll select a group to modify. Slash add. And then the item. We'll add an item to the select group. Remove. We'll remove the item. Display. We'll display everything. Display all groups and items in the um, in a list format. The program will take a file as command line arguments, and if that file name, that file, and if that file name already exists, it will open the file. Otherwise, it will create a new file. So, here is my first goal for this week: create the basic, create the basic main file, which processes command line arguments by extracting the file name from arg v1 and performs bounds checking as well as checking arg c for the correct number of command line arguments. Bounds checking is when you check the character length of a variable with the str length command. Actually, we're going to be using the str n length command. See the C reference guide or the man pages for the details on the proper use of str n length. So, let's just quickly go here. See reference guide and master and like. Yeah, I'll use this one for now. So, stir and length determines the length of a fixed size string. Takes a string as an input, 
Oh, uh, no, stereo and copy is the one I wanted. is the first number of characters. So this is the destination, this is the source, and then the number of characters to copy. Okay. You should be looking at this yourself in your own web browser because this one probably sucks in the video quality. So now I'm gonna go to the solution. This is what I came up with. I'll include all three files later. So, I've defined a macro here. This, uh, this is something new I'm, I did. A macro is basically a uh, name substitution. So, programming language it may is hard to read for if you give your programming to somebody else, they'll uh, probably scratch their head for two hours trying to figure out what the hell you did. So, we use macros to help make uh, things easier for other programmers to read. That's one of the things we do. We also could use helpful names. Uh, F name isn't really very helpful, but it's most people use it. A lot of people use it. Uh, so I use f f name, which means file name, and the macro is file name size. So every time I put file name size down, uh, it's going to be replaced with 20 when the compiler sees it. So this is basically the same as writing 20 here. And here's the error for error checking for programming invocation. So if I put in the on uh, incorrect amount of uh, arguments, it won't let me continue and it'll exit out of the program, return in one. If uh, the length of the file name is too long, it will uh, do the same thing. It'll tell me file name cannot be longer than 19 characters. So I d actually did file name size minus one here because uh, of the null character. If I did, if I tried to copy exactly file name size, I would uh, be overwriting the null character, and then your file name would be filled with gibberish when you tried to print it out. It's better just to do minus one and make sure you get the null character in there. Results. As you can see, I've been testing it for a little bit. So, if I try enter it with no arguments, it gives me an error. This error. So, it got here, program invocation, which is incorrect. So, I need a file name. So, let's add a file name. Uh, let's just add a whole bunch of ones. Okay, it got, got past the first error check, handling but it uh, failed at the second now because the file name is too long. So let's make a shorter file name and one that's actually helpful. Uh, info. Okay. It liked the fi file name. So that's all for this tutorial.